Now, as the song says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. You will spend the rest of your life in prison. From here, you will go and be placed in a cell. What's good, Rizzle fam? It's your boy, Big Man. Three dudes accused of taking XXX Tentacion's life and to spend the rest of their lives behind bars. The official sentencing hearing came out just the other day, and justice has officially been served. It's been a long time coming, and the process of finding the four people responsible for the murder of one of our favorite rappers is finally over. On June 18th, 2018, the rapper and singer XXX Tentacion, whose real name was Jose Duane Ricardo Onfroy, was shot and killed outside the River Motorcycle Dealership in Deerfield Beach. Beach, Florida. According to eyewitnesses, X had just finished shopping and was getting into his car when two men approached him and began firing. Onfroy was shot multiple times and was pronounced dead at the scene. The incident caused widespread shock and sadness among his fans and the music community. X was only 20 years old at the time of his death and had already achieved significant success in his music career. Now here we are, present day. The court found the three dudes accused of murking X guilty of first degree murder. It's been a whole month long trial, and the South Florida jury made their decision on Monday, the 20th of March. Michael Boatwright, Dedrick Williams, and Trayvon Newsom got hit with a guilty verdict of armed robbery with a firearm. Right there in the courtroom, the sheriff's deputies put the cuffs on him right away. The three perps are now looking at mandatory life sentences. It's been a long journey to get here, with X's huge influence and the whole world watching his life and death. Five long years after he passed, justice is finally being served. And if you're wondering what happened to the snitch driver, well, we we also have some info on him. Here's the deal, yo. There was another dude named Robert Allen in the mix, but he turned state's witness against his co-perpetrators in August of 2022. When they went to trial, he testified against three accused dudes and even pleaded guilty to second degree murder. As he grabbed the bag, shots are fired. Who shoots the shots that are fired? Michael Bullard. And who does he shoot? Triple his confessions gave the court a better picture of what went down and what drove them to commit the murder, but also put to rest any talk about other rappers like Drake being involved in the crime or calling for a hit. But we still don't know what's going on with Allen's sentence. The news could be dropping soon though, so keep your ears to the streets. Some believe that he might get out after five years. Some say it's gonna be a little bit longer than that. It's still unknown at the very moment. It's not surprising that a lot of people had a positive reaction to the verdict, whether they felt pumped up or just straight up sad. Seeing justice served is a relief, but it's not exactly something to turn up for. At the end of the day, X's absence is still felt strong, and it's always gonna be that way even with his killers locked up for life. And let's be real, this ain't gonna fix the bigger problem rappers are facing today. They're getting targeted for their wealth, their image, their possessions, just so some folks can make a headline. Very sad ending to this whole situation, man. Even, even if you feel good that, yes, justice was served, we still don't have X. And these brothers will never, ever be free. Sad. Sad. Ever since X passed, way too many rappers have been taken out by people trying to jack their fame and fortune. And get this, those three guilty dudes from the trial even had the nerve to flex their cash and act all smug in some footage that was released to the court. One of the very first insane things that we saw take place in court a few weeks ago was when the Trigger Man, aka Michael Boatwright, sent kisses to someone who was in the courtroom. And then we saw his buddy Trayvon Newsom almost laugh in front of the entire court kept a weird looking smile on his face the whole time. Fans, friends, and everyday folks are reacting to the verdict. Thank you to the jury for getting this right. Their smiles at the end were disgusting. Absolutely no remorse, and if given a chance, would do it again. Sad, just sad. Another person commented on the fact that they weren't really showing emotions at any point during the trial. I just can't fathom how relaxed these young men appear to be after taking someone's life and throwing away theirs. It's a sad state of affairs. But that's not all, the Broward County assistant state attorney goes by the name of Pascal Achille, presented some disturbing footage in court that shows the defendants appearing happy after the murder of XXX Tentacion. Achille revealed that the three men filmed the video within a day of robbing X of his 50K in cash outside the Riva Motorsports in Broward County. This is who they are. This is their real character. Characters that within 24 hours after sh the victim dead and stealing $50,000 from him. This is what they do. Look at how happy they look. 
Look at how excited they look to have this money. This evidence did, in fact, weigh heavily in the jury's final decision. The judge had something to say to all these criminals before he sentenced them to life in prison. First one who the judge spoke to was Trayvon Newsom. The judge laid out the facts straight. This guy did an armed robbery, simply following the people who arranged everything. You could see in his face just how triggered he was because he had to listen to the judge talk. But that's what you get when you're a cold-hearted goon. If you have any anger about what's happening here today and what will happen to you for the rest of your life, beyond the anger that you should have with yourself, perhaps you should, your anger should be directed behind you at your co-defendants, the ones who selected the target in this case and the one who turned a robbery into a murder. They're the ones that you can thank for your predicament beyond your own actions. Then came Dedrick Williams. The judge absolutely blasted him, basically embarrassing him in front of everybody, if he even has a slight idea of what pride means. The judge then pointed out the fact that he, along with his buddies, had the nerve to film themselves throwing all this cash that they got from X. He also told everyone how he went and spent the whole blood money on sneakers and jerseys, all that stuff. When you engage in criminal acts with others, you bear the responsibility for your collective actions. It was you who picked the target in this case. You went inside Riva Motorsports to confirm the identification and what was there. And then you went back out and sat in the vehicle. Now, while you may not have left the vehicle and you may not have uh, uh, brandished a firearm or fired the fatal shots, you are as guilty as they are. And then at last came the guy who actually shot the fatal shot and snatched X's life away. He's the one who turned a robbery into murder, and the judge made it very clear to everyone that he's going away for life. Not just that, but he even used the lyric from the good old track Hotel California in his reference. As the song says, you can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. You will spend the rest of your life in prison. From here, you will go and be placed in a cell. At the very end, we could say the justice really has been served, but it makes you wonder what the true cost is. It's really hard to say whether we should be happy or sad about this whole situation. It's been an emotional roller coaster, and the people online agree. I'm happy for them, they deserve it. They harmed a young man who was trying to change his way and make it better for himself and his community. And these clowns robbed us of his music, his community, of his help, his son from his father. They robbed the mother of her son. So I feel no pity for them. RIP X, we love and miss you so much. No matter how tough they tried to look, you know it hurts when the judge says life. They traded the rest of their lives for 15k. Shake my head. All we gotta say is rest in peace to XXX Tentacion. The woman who gave birth to X's child is happy to see the bad guys go away for life. She expressed her thoughts on social media and she left a note saying, after five long years you may finally rest in peace. Gekumi will never get to meet you earthside but it's my job as a mother to ensure I share those special memories with him. Ja robbed us of his life and Geki was robbed of a father. For this I will never truly have complete peace but justice being served today helps the healing process. At the very end she was also grateful for all the people who showed her love and support throughout her entire five year process. Thank you for the love and support. I am eternally grateful for all the supporters, your positivity, your prayers have carried these last five years. X's mom Cleopatra Bernard was also relieved. She simply wrote a message and she uploaded a photo of her son. He finally got justice, job. Any comments on the trial that took place and finally sentenced the three guys who took X's life away? What do you think's gonna happen to the snitch who seriously helped put these guys behind for good? You think he's gonna come out of jail quick? Let us know all about it in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked our video, make sure to drop a comment, hit the like button, and smash that subscribe button so you get notified every single time we drop a new video for you. As always, remember to keep it real.